Hello everyone, welcome to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. So today is 27th October. Let's start with an analysis of today. This is me and my relevant working experience. If you want to join our WhatsApp as well as our Telegram groups, you can join in via the links given in the description section below. Also, we are on with this IGB program where on 1st, 2nd and 3rd November 2023, from time 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. both in online and offline mode, Sri Anil Swarup sir will be present who is a former IAS retired and also he will take some of the interview guidance session for your upcoming APAC CCE interview. Okay, so if you want to join this program, you can register on by calling our number 912751541 Okay, this is the content of today impact of disasters on agriculture and food security, international migration outlook. Qatar court sentencing 8 Indian Navy veterans to death, Indian Japan chip supply chain partnerships and relevant prelims facts. First topic to KSA about the Food and Agriculture Organization releasing a report on the title Impact of Disaster on Agriculture and Food Security stating that the frequency of extreme disaster events has risen significantly over the past 15 years. So basically this topic is related to the climate change. Okay, so if you know about the climate change and its respective impacts. We have seen that climate change is the main impact is not mainly agriculture. We see into the demo agriculture of Hako agriculture mainly key loss to his economic loss. Tarapro, Zikini crops, who is a hekini damage or Kotha is a Tarapro, Zikini livestock. As a livestock skinny a impact who is a because it has led to the declining of their respective uh, survival in this particular period of climate change. Tarupurot, Zimankini small holders market has a hekini basic vulnerable hose because the small small holders often lack resources and infrastructures to cope up and recover for such respective events. Tarpisa the Dimakobolas are about the food security concerns. Azi agriculture disasters will occur karone. Amar Kisuman direct effect hoi quote availability and accessibility of food. Tar logot. Moi etu kwana is auto only urban population hoi ba rural population hoi. Etu both side out hoi. Okay. Aru etiyao amar iman kini RMD nai. Ze ami zikini disasters hoi hekini lagot etiyao bhalke milai soli bole ba hekini lagot amar bhalke azi respectively impact to azi zitu hoi ase. Hetu ami azi milai soli bole azi amar sort iman kini RMD nai. Though government has initiated a good amount of initiatives so that to cope up with some of the environmental protection, be it the soil health cards cream, be it the paramparagat krishi vikas yojana, so they have a lot of Pradhan Mantri ki shri shai yojana, they have a lot of dhornar ki suman projects government lo isse, so as to help the farmers adapting to climate change. But still, today we can see that the report directly says about the estimated losses which have been caused by disaster on agricultural production over the past three decades and delves into the diverse threats and impacts affecting the crops, livestock, forestry, fisheries, and aquaculture subsectors. Okay, so you can see the report of Kiki Diaz, Magnitude of Agriculture Losses Impact in Different Countries. Okay, so losses by product groups, regional differences. Okay, Asia, Africa, Europe, America. This is the first thing we discuss. So, increasing frequency of disasters. So, as a disaster, to kyo? Iman Bisi by Iman Bahi Bahi Goes, Hitu at a Dairon, Kotha is a year. Okay, that's what vulnerable groups and their respective impacts. Okay, so a good techni, yet a quaguse, Tarport Kisma recommendation of Diaguse, mainly uh, outlining three key priorities for addressing the impact of disaster, Hikita Kiki, improving data and information on disaster impact, developing multi sector and multi hazard disaster risk reduction approaches, and enhancing investments in resilience to reduce disaster risks in agriculture and improve livelihoods. So, here to can a yet good technique of the likas about this particular report to Malagabar Puhi Silaba. You will be very much thorough with the reports or a reports below. I'm a essential hockey hockey to quote this reports in the answers which will be coming up in your means. Okay, so yet a FAO Kothalika Sala Food and Agriculture Organization. So, yet a good technique of the Kitosu, the Kinima Kosu in the come in the in the in the video. The Kikini government initiatives Lua Guse, Tomogudi at a Thodisu, Yel Black Siloba, that will be important. Last of the question issue, Siloba. Next, International Migration Outlook 2023. So, 
Here, nearly half a million Indians migrated to OECD countries in 2021 report. Okay, OECD. It is an intergovernmental economic organization which is founded to stimulate economic progress and world trade. So, at the bottom of the most OECD members today are high income economies with a very high human development index. And therefore, it was founded in 1961 with its headquarters at Paris, and it has a total membership of around 38 countries. Okay. I was to the India is not a member of this group, but yes, India is a key economic partner. India is a key economic partner. Very important. Okay. So, as a report, why India Indians are basically migrating to these OECD countries? Because we can see that since the economic activities are much more in these countries and India produces some of the cheap labors, so many number of laborers or many number of unskilled laborers, they directly go for this particular areas so as to manage the population ratio of that particular country. Now, I our demographic dividend to But in countries like uh, China, in countries like Korea, the population or the de demographic dividend is very older with an average age of around 40 to 45. So, etu karne azi amar Indians so demand to bahi ase aru etu karne migration lu amar Indians or bohut besi hoi ase. Okay, so here eta report e kotha tu kole. Okay, so here ki hale soda report. Ki ho karne India leads in migration. Okay, uh, because India became a primary source of migration uh, to these OECD countries surpassing China. And India consistently topped the list with 0.41 million new migrants in both years, while China has 0.23 migrants, new uh, migrants. Okay, so increasing trend, it was a more important hoy. climate change, a refugee crisis, a rise in internal displacement, and worker men in the global market. Okay, so a bostukini karne, azi ami dehisu about why migration has taken place in this particular countries, basically the OECD countries. So migration bulikolami kibuzu, movement of a person from his or her place of usual residence whether within a country or across an international border temporarily or permanently and for variety of regions okay so type of migration ki is intra country that means interstate or intrastate international outside the country forced migration because of violence or environmental crisis ah, gender and marriage migration okay the men migrate for economic reasons while women migrate for marriage relations supposedly i mean recently the case of pakistan or pura amar up loke Agaraki uh, uh, women ahisile with her four kids. So, I mean, black dekhizu migration. This is one kind of migration only. Okay, baki te baki suman uh, willfully legally wa hai. Okay, so yat hetu kotha hai yat kua goise. So, as the impact ki hoye sa migration on labor markets and economic growth. Positive impact si ki labor demand and supply amar meet hoye skill development hoye sa quality of life increase hoye sa uh, economic remittances bahi goye sa social remittances bahi goye sa. But yes, nikeli challenges ki suman wa hai. Facing marginalized section, socio and psychological aspects, exclusion from political rights and social benefits. So, this problem is in this particular migration process. Okay, so the OECD report global overview to key and one respective question. Next, Qatar court sentences eight Indian Navy veterans to death. It is a very dangor issue because eight former personnel of the Indian Navy who were detained in Doha in 2022 have been sentenced to death by Qatari court. So, they were arrested by Qatari authorities on August 30, 2022 and have since been under solitary confinement. I mean, they are not able to keep them in a solitary way. Okay. So, the Indian Ministry of External Affairs expressed deep shock and initiated a quest on legal remedies. Okay. And they are not able to keep them in jail. They are not able to keep them in jail. They are not able to keep them in jail. Okay. So, what are the cases that are about? There are arrest details. Okay. Consular access. Okay. This is what they are doing on October 3. Okay, that's a solitary confinement. Okay, because of security related issues. India stands key hoy. They are closely monitoring the situation and has extended every possible support to the arrested sailors. Okay, so yet a nam sum amaiman dorkari no hoy, kun hoy, kun hoy. But ami at all of Zanibo like India Qatar bilateral relations. So Qatar kun hoy, that's Silo Opera, capital Doha. So high level visits PM Manmohan Singh Gosila Doha, Duhazar Athot, PM Modi Gosila, Duhazar Punhorot, Susma Swaraji, late Susma Swaraji. 
became the first Indian foreign minister to visit Qatar in 2018. Economic ties ki ase. Indian Qatar valued at dollar 15 billion. Okay, are primarily involved ki LNG and LPG exports from Qatar to India. Liquefied natural gas and this LPG exports. Okay, that's what defense cooperation ase. Pillar of Indian Qatar ties. Our Rami Zanu, PM6 November 20 was a turning point. Everyone extended for another five years in 2018. Tarpot, Indian Navy and Coast Guard ship regularly visits Qatar. Okay, because of some of the joint naval exercises which are known as Jair Al Bahar. Qatar, Kihogan Amar important hoy. Expertise community, Amar Indian community, Bohuda se. Our Rami Tan says Bohuda hai Qatar apa. Energy security, because obviously we know they are the largest supplier of LNG. GCC membership, that is the Gulf Cooperation Council. Aru, UNSC support okane, Azi, India's is a permanent bead hoy. Qatar hai took support Korea se. Okay, that's what business presence. Ebla Dangarangal companies of India, they are present. Aru, stability in the Gulf of Karne, Qatar Khan Amar Karne, Bohut, strategically important hoy se. Okay, so yet, Zikini Amar respective developments with the respective visits of Dia se with a respective question. But since it will use it as a so to Malko directly it will related no important no hai, the why they are arrested, who, what uh, legal means needs to be foreseen, Ebla Gutehini Amar important no hai, but India Qatar relations becomes very important because Qatar is in news just because they have uh, made a death penalty to these eight Indian Navy soldiers. Okay. Next, India-Japan Chip Supply Scene Partnership. So, Cabinet recently has approved a memorandum of cooperation between India and Japan on Semiconductor Supply Chain Partnership. Semiconductor. It's a material product usually composed of silicon which conducts electricity more than an insulator such as glass but less than a pure conductor such as copper or aluminium. Okay, our semiconductors are critical technological components in this emerging technological world. Okay, Aziz Amizanu is that India's consumption of semiconductors is expected to cross around dollar 80 billion by 2026. Okay, or by 2030 it is expected to go around dollar 110 billion. Our Tarupurat, India has got exceptional semiconductor design talent pool. Okay, because we know that world's 20% of the semiconductors design is made by Indian engineers. Okay, so Aji Tarkarne, it was a cabinet econ MOC memorandum of cooperation published in Indian Japan and other semiconductor supply chain partnership or Karne. Okay, so Aji in recent times India is looking to establish itself as a reliable presence in the semiconductor supply chain, especially at a time when companies are looking to diversify from China, which has been the hub of electronics manufacturing. So Aji Ami Janu, the a good semiconductor supply chain source to Den Hoi, was it to at area hoy that is basically China. So, Tarkarne, as he had India on memorandum, okay, uh, with Japan, so as to manufacture more and more number of semiconductors and what they can publish or what they can make available in the upcoming times, okay. Our Tarkarne, India, both can program start Korise, India semiconductor mission, okay, and also various number of product link incentive schemes who are working in this particular industry and also to build up a semiconductor ecosystem in our country. Okay, our event government rupees 76,000 crore already at a period of six years. Logai di se kihor karne development of semiconductors. Okay, so a black yet they had a project to both important hoy semiconductors both news at a se so all of zami bola ke about semiconductors. Okay, so about semiconductors ki ki hoy yet likha se about India's initiative to become Atman Nirbhar. Okay, so to more kolu the India bonabo bisa di se semiconductors in their own country with its mission of India's semiconductor mission. Okay, so you are under good technique what has it are put kisman challenges are easy semiconductor manufacturing auto a black home or yet a really good issue investment to basically like it. Okay, as you can support a government or a hacking of both minimal high that can both be see support like it. Okay, this one fabrication capacities are more sort nice you can as you make a cooperation to call a goyas. That's what this one inefficient sector as a okay. Zara can a as he high skilled workforce like a high skilled workforce to as you are not at present nine so it will kiss one of my reasons like a why the semiconductor industry is still not in the way or not in its position that they take it all a public semiconductor to put on corrigo party to take a look up position on my as you are ready both like us are taking a mark on a important voice okay next some problem sex vajra musti kalaga okay so key way to so it is basically a martial art form which has gone extinct and takes place only during the Sera. Okay, recently the Sera Gosha. Unique Indian martial art that incorporates various techniques of hand-to-hand -hand combat like grappling, wrestling and striking. So, what do you think about 
what are some of the famous martial arts of our country book comment section not one okay are specific to reason only to our okay so my world of the night martial art forms of our country to welcome a comment section not one so what's the movie money key one literally means thunderbolt fist is characterized by the utilization of knuckle duster a small metal weapon okay so it is here to news or asset are extinct is a so to kind of america important who is a okay that's what vikram one record indian from skyrod aerospace recently unveiled its indigenously built vikram one rocket so apply man to nearby that's what it is planned to launch in the early 2024 vikram one will be skyrod second rocket after a successful run of vikram s rocket on november 18 last year when the space startup became the first company to launch a private rocket from the isro's launch center in sri harikota okay to welcome all of kobol again about sri harikota why sri harikota is so famous are it kuntu location ase in our country eastern western kun kon state on ase a good a topography to move over again about sri harikota and why sri harikota is chosen to be one area to launch rockets from the country of india okay kiho can choose kora go head to move to malo okay next pragati platform to pragati buli gola miki buji pao proactive governance and timely implementation so the prime minister recently chaired the meeting of this 44th edition involving center and state governments so the key way multi purpose and multi model platform hoy that is aimed at addressing common sense grievances and simultaneously monitoring and reviewing important programs and projects of the government of india as well as projects flagged by the state governments so to get a launch kora goisile march 25 2015 are it is designed in house by the pmo team with the help of national informatics center so it is also a robust system for bringing e transparency and e accountability with real time presence and change amongst the key stakeholders okay so pragati pragati buli kole amar bahut importantly ami janibo lage about the prime ministers narendra modi's main aim of active governance in our country okay so pragati which was launched in 2015 has been an interactive and integrated platform for various projects between the center and the state our jikita chief aim hoy pragati mainly hai project implementation second hoy monitoring and third hole grievance redressal okay so aji tumaluke mo giate kobo lage je pragati ji tu ami koha koha koi asu yate pragati platform e ei pragati platform e tinta technology use kore okay so ei tinta technology ki hoy tumaluke mo comment section not kwa pragati platform okay so that is very important pragati uh, this one aru eta mu kobo lage je when is the pragati day okay pragati day ketia hoy etu tumaluke mu comment section not kwa okay so etu gutekhin likha ase sailoba so this is our academic team and our cna team so thank you